all our important occasions of life, why do we invite people home? A wedding, you invite people home. A new house, we invite people home. A baby born in the family, we invite people home. Why do we need to invite people home? It's my special moment. Why do I need to call so many people? The reason is everyone will come. Everyone will come and then we will create a collective energy of blessings. And there when that baby is receiving the high collective energy of blessings, the consciousness of the baby will rise. But then that doesn't have to be done only on special days. It should be a way of living. That we create collective high vibrations for every situation in our life. But now, I can't go and tell people to create high vibrations for me. Sometimes we go and tell people, please bless me. No, we don't need to go and tell people to bless us. Who needs to bless me first? Who needs to bless me first? Me, myself. People's blessings will not work on me if I don't first bless myself. So the first blessing has to start with me. What is the role of people's blessings? People's blessings radiate to my mind. They raise my vibration and then I influence my work. Suppose you have some important task tomorrow. You go to somebody and you say, this is my very important assignment today. Please bless me. Okay, we go for blessings. Not to parents, grandparents, saints. We go to them for blessings. So they give us a blessing. Everything will be perfect. And then we go and do the work. And everything turns out to be perfect that day. And we say, unki blessing se kaam ho gaya. Which means they blessed us and everything manifested. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. We ignore our part in that. When somebody blesses me, everything will be perfect. Their high vibration cannot bring success in my work. Their high vibration raises the vibration of my mind and then I go and do my karma and bring success in the work. So do not ignore your role in the success or failure, whatever we manifest. Or sometimes people say, I was leaving for that work. They said something and things didn't work out today. And then very conveniently we blame them. Ke jate jate mujhe tok diya, mera kaam aaj bigad gaya. Because we don't see our role. So whatever good happens in my life, also because of them. Whatever doesn't happen good in my life, also because of them. And if I don't find somebody here, then I say it's because of... It's because of everybody else except for me. So we are not taking the personal responsibility. So what is blessings doing? Blessings raises my consciousness. And then my consciousness influences what I'm going to do. So take care of what you talk about your life to people. So which means even if nothing is perfect, even if nothing is perfect, tell the world my life is, my life is, even just talking high energy words will change my life. The more we keep saying nothing is going right, nothing is happening right, kuch bhi theek nahi ho hai. The more we are going to say that, the more reality will become that way because I'm creating conflict here. The seed is getting weak because I'm creating the wrong thoughts. And if the seed is weak, the tree cannot be healthy. So we do not need to make effort on the tree. Just let's start taking care of the tree. What we think about ourselves first and foremost. Some of us don't think very nicely about our own self. We like to find faults in ourselves. We like to criticize ourselves. We doubt ourselves. We have to remember, we have to live with ourselves 24 by 7. It's easy to handle other people's criticism because it's once in a while. 
But if I start criticizing myself, then to live with myself will become very, very difficult. So the first relationship we have is with ourself. So just choose if there is any negative thought that you are saying about yourself. Can anyone think of a negative thought about themselves? Anyone can think of a negative thought that we create about ourselves? It's very, very often, very, very, the vocabulary, and we think this is humility, saying negative about ourselves. Think, any negative thought about ourselves? I'm stressed, huh? Or, I can't do it, what else? Yeah, very good, I can't do it. Very often repeated thought. Anything else? I'm not well. That's about my body, first about myself, here. About myself, my nature. I can't do it, Hanji, second. I can't do it, one, second. Hanji? It's my fault, huh? Two, three. Hanji? Ha. Ah. He say, Dimaag kaam ni kar raha, my brain is not working. Very risky thought, no? If we say it. <laughs> Can you imagine the result of this thought? You know what is happening? Over a period of time, certain words become our vocabulary. And then, binavat ke we are saying those lines. Take care of those lines which are being said very often. That's a blessing. So, aaj se hum nahi kahenge, dimaag kaam nahi kar raha. Hum kya kahenge uski jagah? Kya kahenge uski jagah? Change bhi to karna na usko. So what will I change the line to? My brain is not, even saying it sounds so. So my brain is not working, shifts to? We have to shift the thought. It's like we're teaching a child not to say like this, speak like this. The child will again go back to its old language, again change. Any other thing about the self? I'm depressed. Never, ever, ever say this line. We've picked up the vocabulary from somewhere. That's why it's very important where we are picking up things from. Isi ko kehte sang ka rang, getting colored by the company we keep. Why spirituality also we don't do on an individual level. We go where everyone is studying together because sang ka rang. So what happens when everyone is practicing spiritual principles and meditation together, you suddenly go with people who are talking very high vocabulary. And when they start talking high vocabulary and you just be with them for a few months, very soon you start seeing your vocabulary has changed. And when your vocabulary changes, your life changes. Your life changes. That's why we need to take care of who are our friends. Which means who are the people we spend a lot of time with. Because their vocabulary becomes our vocabulary. Any other line about the self? Very good. Ye mere bas ki baat hi nahi hai. I cannot do this. Anything else? Hanji? Very important. I am unlucky. Can you see the power of this line? Can you see the power of this line? Can you see it? Now change the line. Sirf lucky. I am very lucky. Or use the power of the mind, create the highest thought. I am blessed, very good. What happened was somewhere in childhood somebody taught us that if we say nice things about ourselves, it's ego. So we thought humility means, humility means mandir mein gaye, bhagwan ke aage khada hua aur kaha main neech hu, main papi hu, main kapti hu, main chaldi hu, main chaldi hu. Aur kehte kehte, kehte kehte, kya ho gaya? Ban gaye. Humility does not mean self-criticism. Humility means high self-respect. So I am unlucky. Line is out. Any other line? Apne liye? Apne liye? Now. Now. From tomorrow onwards, 
Will you be able to check your lines like this? Yes? Will you be able to check your lines like this? This is a very interesting game. Check your lines, check the lines which people at home are saying. And immediately unko vahi roko. Bolo not like this. Like, sometimes people in a very, very contemplative mood, they just start talking at home and they say, Ek din agar mein chala gaya, mein nahi raha, to ghar ke log kya kehte hain? Bolna bhi nahi hai aisa. Which means not to create such vibrations also. Do not allow people to talk a low vocabulary. So we immediately stop them. And the other person says, but it's a reality, it's going to happen. You say, no, you're not to talk like this. Because we know, every soul knows what is the power of vibrations. We're only not using it enough. So can we check from tomorrow when we talk lines like this? I'm unlucky. Change. My mind is Change. Just not to say to me, to say to me, your mind is Change. Yes, this is vocabulary. This is vibration. This is my thoughts. This is where I'm shifting from conflict with people, with things, with time, and shifting to harmony because I'm changing here. Gaant yaha khol nahi hai. Baki sab kuch apne aap ho jayega. Any other thought about the self? Hanji? Hanji. Samai thik ni chalra. Time is not in my favor. Keep saying that to time and time will make it happen for you. Now simple to change vocabulary? Simple? Everyone will be able to change it? Yes? Sure? Remembering? That agar galti se bhi bol diya. In the Mahabharat, there's a very beautiful scene where when the five Pandavas bring Draupadi home for the first time and their mother's back is towards them and they just come and say, see what we have brought. And she says, whatever you've got, share it. Because she used to always teach them that whatever they have got, they have to share it. So she didn't turn back. She didn't turn back and she just said, whatever you've got, share it. And then when she looks back and then she says, what did I say? And then she says, undo, this cannot be done. And then Yudhishthar says, once the word has been spoken, it cannot be undone. So which means... These are metaphors to teach us that every word, every thought, we should be careful because we have sent out the energy into the world. And we will not be able to undo that energy. But we can undo that energy by doing what? Sending down 100 more positive thoughts after that one negative thought. Then we finish. So if you find yourself creating that other low vibration thought, quickly shift. Quickly shift to what you are thinking and saying about yourself, to what you are thinking and saying about people around you. Remembering that what they are doing right now is not going to create the relationship. How you are going to think about them and how you are going to talk about them. Because energy multiplies. So how I think about them and how I talk about them will finally manifest and that's what reality will be. Now, my thoughts also about objects. I have a relationship even with objects around me. I have a relationship with time. How do I speak about time? Many of us today say, I'm very busy, I don't have time. I don't have time for myself. I don't have time for my family. I don't have time for what I want to do. I don't even have time to die. Mere pas marne ke bhi fursat nahi hai. Abhi ye kaha se vocabulary uthai? Somebody must have said it somewhere. And we said, ye badi interesting line hai. Mere pas marne ke liye bhi time nahi hai. Sounds very interesting. And I started saying it. And very soon that became a part of my vocabulary. And that started affecting my relationship with time. Which means I have no time for myself. I never will. I don't have time for my family. What's the energy that I'm radiating to my family? I don't have time for all the nice things I want to do. Then where is my time going? And the more we said it, 
the busier we are getting. The busier we are getting. Now experiment. This is all an experiment. But result is 100% certain. Change the line. Change the line. And what's the line going to be? I have. I have. I have. Very good. Timey timey. See? Look at the difference between the vibrations of two lines. Marne ki bhi fursat nahi. Time it time hai. Choose which destiny you want. Choose which destiny you want. Thoughts manifest. Words create the world. Relationships are created by how we think. So relationship with myself. Relationship with my body. This is in my genes. My family has this illness. So obviously, send a message to your body and manifest it. Everybody else also around us keeps saying that. Don't eat this. Everybody in your family has diabetes. Aapko bhi ho jayega. Tathastu. Tathastu hota hai. This is blessings. We keep saying this to people again and again. Tell a person, don't take this. This is not healthy for you. Fine. But don't say, aapko bhi ho jayega ye. No. Aware that what I am saying is a vibration that I am radiating. So what I am going to speak about my body, about my health, about my body in terms of how it looks and about my body in terms of its health. Love yourself. Second, love your body. We don't need the world to say nice things about us. We need to appreciate and be grateful to this body. But if I keep finding faults with it, if I keep going to a doctor and saying, Mera kaan bhi thik kar do, mera naak bhi thik kar do, mera daant bhi thik kar do, I am rejecting my body. I am saying nothing is nice about me. This is a very deep, 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 deep thought. I am not, like we say, accepting people. First thing I need to accept, I need to accept my body. Beauty is not in about every part of my body being perfect. Beauty is in my every thought about my body being perfect. It's about how I think about it. That's the vibration I radiate to the world and that's how the world will perceive me. Experiment any day. If there is a stain on your dress and you were about to walk into a party and now your dress is stained, two ways. One, you keep thinking, ye daag sabko dikhne wala hai. Everybody is going to see this stain. I have to hide it. Nobody should see it. The more you think of it, the more it's in your energy field, the more you will radiate it and the more everybody will see it. Just walk into the party one day without thinking about that stain, 100%, nobody will even look at it. Because it's the vibration you radiate which gets them to look at it. So walk into a party being happy with yourself. If you walk into meeting people questioning how you look, then that's what people are going to say about us. And then when they say about us, then I'm not happy even more about myself. And then it becomes a vicious cycle. So let's not reject our body. Reject our body about how it looks and reject our body about how it feels. Even if there's something not right about my health, I need to be grateful, send beautiful vibrations and heal that body. If I keep criticizing my body, Mera to kuch na kuch dard hota hi rehta hai. Kuch bhi thik nahi chalta. Aaj ye dard hota hai, kal wo dard hota hai. Kuch na kuch chalta hi rehta hai. To kuch na kuch chalta hi rehega. Because I am rejecting it. Appreciate, accept, be grateful and bless the body. And then see how the body works for you. It's a relationship. So relationship with myself, relationship with body, Obviously, relationship with people, relationship with time, relationship with nature, prakriti. Today, everybody, the whole world is talking about climate. 
Start creating your personal relationship with nature. We may not have the power to change the climate of the planet, but we have the power to how we treat resources and the way we treat them is how they will be with us. And if each one starts creating a beautiful relationship with the resources we have, the world will start taking care of. We cannot, the solution cannot be at the global level. The solution will have to be at the personal level. At the personal level, start creating a beautiful relationship with nature. Do not look out of the window and say, what horrible weather. You've rejected it. Do not look at it and say, what a depressive weather. Rejected it. Be careful. We can either reject or we can appreciate, accept, grateful and bless. So relationship with nature. And last, relationship with matter. Objects. Objects. How you treat your objects. How you think about them. If I start looking at this clock, this is my alarm clock every day, and I say, Bekar ghadiyer. Bekar ghadiyer. Bekar ghadiyer. Kuch bhi thik ni chalta is ghadi ke andar. Let me do it for about a month. And then see what will happen to this. But we say it so casually about so many things we have. Everything is getting affected by our vibrations. So only four things for everything. Accept, appreciate, gratitude and bless. Because we've been blessed by so much. But we do not, do not, do not accept, appreciate, grateful and bless because we start finding and then we're never contented in life. In spite of having everything, there's one thing that we don't have is contentment because we find something to find fault in everything, whether it's people, my body, my mind, nature, time or objects. I can always find fault in everything. But when I start finding faults with it, then my relationship goes there, my vibration goes lower. The lower my vibration, the lower my reality. So the power lies, the power lies here. So all that we need to do is start taking care of how we think.